who who uh, else to ask but uh, about Darcy Kemper than Colton Pareko. Colt, you nearly matched your career high of 10 shots on goal in this game. You had your chances. Your team had your chances. Bernie and Scott were just talking about it. And uh, is that one of the areas that uh, you talked about before the game that he has the ability to steal a game? Yeah, he's he obviously played really well. Um, gave them gave him the chance and um, yeah he, he was seeing it well tonight obviously Binner played well too and um, obviously both goalies played well and uh, one bounce can can make the difference in the game so uh, it, it was obviously a far, hard fought game and um, yeah both goalies played well thought the execution was sharp on, on on your team's behalf just based on the fact a long road trip coming home got to be a little bit tired a lot of people get worried about that first game home after a long road trip did you f feel good about your game as an entire team yeah, I thought we played well. Uh, we played connected. Uh, we kind of talked about in the offensive zone. We we found that F3 quite a few times, and um, they had some good opportunities. And uh, like we mentioned, their goalie played well. And um, But it's good that we're creating those chances. Those are going to get to go in um, as we continue to produce those, and um, at least we're playing the right way uh, in in that uh, zone. So just keep keep working towards it. Can't uh, let, let yourself get down on one game. Um, obviously, Points are big in this league, so anytime you can get points, um, we got to continue to get points. So move on to the next one and um, get some more points. You know, Colt, ever since they established the, the hybrid icing rule, there's a lot of times where me as a broadcaster, I'm like, that's icing. Oh, that's not icing. He beat him to the puck. It, it, sometimes as a player, it happens so quick to get to that spot. I, is it confusing? Because I thought tonight in this game on both sides, there was a couple of calls that were maybe a little confusing that could have been icing and weren't icing. I think so. I mean, it's, it's tough, obviously, and it's tough to kind of make a distinction for the ref of when when he's going to blow it and when that guy is past the other guy on the other team and um when does he blow the whistle if it's a rim is he getting the guy on the far side is he getting the guy that's just trying to race the hash marks and i just feel like there's obviously maybe controversy but um i mean the refs are human too so we just gotta if something happens like that it's kind of like we make a mistake out there we just want to make sure that we help each other out, pick each other up, and um, just move forward and try not to let it phase us. So you've got a, a couple of days off now, and, uh, and you've got a chance to go into Columbus and, and play the Blue Jackets. Always a tough game there. Uh, back on the road for a little one, and then coming back home again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, back on the road, like you mentioned. Just came back from another long road trip, but um, we, we play well on the road. Um, I like how we play on the road. We keep it straight, uh, north-south hockey, and uh, I think that that's when we're at our best. So just got to continue to bring that to our game and um, just keep getting points like I mentioned earlier. Cole, thanks for doing this, and great shot on and going to the glove side. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. But Bernie, uh, let's talk more about the Saskatoon guy. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to talk about myself, Banger. I'll, I'll save that for another day.